They're on. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, we're just going straight into the second set. Back to the Sheik. The Sheik, did they win it? I think they won one Sheik game in the first set, right? The first one? Yes. Yeah, and then it was two Fox games after that. So, yeah. the Sheik has the potential. Mewtwo King Sheik. Not getting any clean hits, like big openers just yet. Oh, no jump on Wizrobe. But fortunately, with Mewtwo King getting sent off the level. Yeah, there was no edge yard opportunity there. Yeah, that's the nice thing about good DI as Falcon. You can keep recovering high endlessly, and then it takes two people to guarantee your edge guard. Peach has to do a little guessing. Did he save his double jump? He did. He did, wow. Nice. Excellent recovery. I thought he was going to go for the double jump wall jump, too. The low wall jump on FD. Oh, good slap. Great space. The retreating fair. Catches him on the approach. Yeah, I think Wizrobe had his sights set a little too hard on either the kill or just on Vidjo. Because he sort of just meandered into that fair. Yeah. Red Sheik oh. kind of blends in with that with FD as well. So. <laughs> oh, absolutely. In fact, you, you can't even see. Uh, where is she? Yeah. Actually, sometimes on some of the background changes, it can be a little difficult to see. I believe. Yeah. I mean, I know, like, if it was mostly a joke. Too. On certain TVs, if someone plays Black Dr. Mario on Battlefield, I get really annoyed. <laughs> Especially if they're normally, like, a blue Dr. Mario player and they change costume just for Battlefield. Or if they use Red Ganon on Congo. Oh, is Red Ganon bad on Red Congo? Ganon on DK64. Yeah, Red Ganon's got those dark costumes to begin with. Then the, the red tint. Oh, wow. Wizrobe in. ended up assisting Vidjo's recovery. He whipped his up air and then up beat him the wrong way. Okay, so am I the only one who finds it to be really, really strong, that descending knee that also grabs the edge. Oh, it's amazing. By Falcon. There's a, a Falcon player in Chicago named O'Reilly who does it yeah. constantly. It's very good. Okay, Ooh. smart play by Mewtwo King. Yeah. Didn't del- oh. oh, man, but then he got stuck under the lip. Both blue team was just winning their 1v1s in that situation. Well, not at first, but Mewtwo King with the slight error. Oh, he wanted, he was like, please help me. <laughs> I don't know what he had. What did he have to do there? He was fading back, hoping the Vanish would hit him. Maybe. But it, even if Vanish had started up at that point, it was too yeah, late. Yeah, but I mean, Vanish has to go up first. I don't, I don't think, I don't think there was a way. Maybe, no. Maybe if Wizzy there. had been on the right side of him, up there would last too long, then he'd die. Yeah, His true. only way, the only way would have been a slap. Wall jump tech. Slap him in the possible. Slap is fast. Oh my god, Mewtwo King with the 2v1. Mewtwo King with oh the edge hog. Oh my god, at 48 only. Oh, oh hold on, but he's off stage too. Yeah. Yeah, the high coverage, good stuff. We had such a brief 1v1 there. It, it was there for a moment. Actually, I don't even, yeah, it was like a second because he died off the top right before the back air connected, yeah. so. Mewtwo King with the, right. the brilliant what execution. Oh. Video. Doing better in this first set than they did in the second yep. set than they did in the first. Looking a little more like the, the, the winner's, finals. winner's finals. Winning the first game with the Sheik. Yep. Now, if they do pick Pokemon, it wouldn't surprise me if he does switch to Fox anyhow, just yeah. cause. Dreamland does not surprise me. Yeah, Sheik will live for a while, but... They're still going to be able to kill the Peach rather effectively. Yeah. And, and I think Wizrobe does better with the space as well. There's also this whole... Um, any big level is a little bad for the Sheik Peach team. Like these these big spaces, they don't help each other as quickly as they could. No. On the other hand, you get stuff like that all the time. Good. Good. We got DI. If he had died to that, I would have questioned him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Because he, he took Mewtwo King's jump over on that other side. And because he's a little thief. He just keeps stealing jumps left and right. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. Blue team was sort of not sure what they wanted to do there. Just keeps finding those knees, man. Oh, the back air. Nice. That actually was really helpful. Oh, but was he never got his jump? Or he did and he lost it right away? That was weird. You know, right now, Wizrobe seems to be getting away with certain stuff that, like, I, I want to say another Falcon wouldn't find. Like when they're high up and he just gets out there and knees them one way or another, even when he's not comboing. Yeah. 
like kneeing individuals float with no response. Like, I don't feel like other Falcons would be getting that. To be fair, with, with Ninja's been getting out of his hit out of his float quite a bit throughout this first uh, the first set. Yeah, but it was by Wizro. Oh, you talking about Wizro doing it specifically, and then catching people with like his up B. Oh, as you're just saying, you're throughout the whole set he's been doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got Wizro magic. In some form or fashion. Okay. That's pretty good for Red Team with advantage and, and he gets high. the legend invincibility and reverse sneeze Mewtwo King through his nair. Scary. I don't want to fight that. No. It looks hard. <laughs> Glad I didn't. There's not a lot you can do about it. Alright. Yup. Yeah. There we go. Just let Wizzy try to get the edge guard. Oof. Was with the knee too. Yeah, I guess I feel like it's fair. That they ended it there because they were running out of stage. Yeah. They tried to continue the combo. Either they wouldn't have if they tried to continue just plump solo combo on M2K, they wouldn't have gotten nearly as much. Exactly. That was a an excellent stock. Oh my gosh, by Vigio. He lifts a 180 on that last one too, which is far and away the most percentage he's had throughout this first or second set. Ah, uh, that's fair. Almost sent him at an angle for Wizard to follow up. Not quite. Actually, ended up overextending a little bit, putting him in a bad position. Yeah. He's still alive, though. Stay on the level, you can get big over here. Oh, the vanish again. Ooh, it's in the Waveland Nair. That was beautiful. You two can just roll it in and grab it. Yeah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I hate that feeling. You just feel like you got outplayed. It's I hate so it hard. when someone just rolls behind you and grabs you, and I hate it when you roll into a grab. It's sad. And oh, well, oh, see, that's he goes for the the down throw right there. When I feel like maybe Wizard just kneeing him and set up for a better situation, just put him further off stage at least. Right, this is okay. That was a little dangerous. Oh, oh this my is. Gosh. Oh uh, no. no, he's fine. And Vigio Wizzy gets up there. The he lived to 180 again, though, so he did what he needed to during this oh, yeah. set. Oh my god. No, he, I like that roll. He double jumped, though. He double jumped. Oh. So he was dead right there. Oh, good air dodge. This game was looking so in the bag. Oh, nice. Oh, he's. Oh, that, way. Oh, that should be up air. Oh, he went too far. Oh, oh, the vanish saved him after the air dodge. Oh my god. Wow. I, I could not believe that. Actually dropped that. He's grounded. Oh, he calls he went that for roll it. away. Does he miss oh. another tech? Another get up. This is so flubby. This is this is a Robin Williams film. What is it? They're both green balls <laughs> bouncing around. Oh my god. He's gonna try, but no, nah, ninja needles, dude. The acupuncture. Oh, that's oh. it. Oh, music with the mini pop off at the end. The little fist bump. Yeah. There were so many chokes at the oh, end. Oh god. That little that little schoolyard fight. They're just swinging. That was that was the film Flubber. We just watched the entirety of the film Flubber, starring Robin Williams. Oh my God! Just, I can't believe that man. There were just so many like and they kept the getting hit by get up attack. Is that it pushed to that point off of like this incredibly crispy looking combo by Mewtwo? Games. Yeah. And then just he got like, the beautiful opener. Just the situational awareness to capitalize after he gets the up B and the edge. And then suddenly gets hit by like 80 get up attacks. <laughs> he can't do anything right after but, doing everything right. But Wizrobe is missing the text, so it's all, you know, it's like his fault to begin with. And that's, and that's not even talking about how Vigio like ended up dying after dropping the edge guard. But then Wistro killed Plop like uh, Yeah. Oh man. We'll just forget it. We'll <laughs> yeah. wash it from our memory. We will. It's 2-0 for M2 Game Vigio now. Yep. And pretty tight game right now. Oh, the fair. Okay, nice. I was about to say slight advantage looks like it's gonna go to Plop and Wizro, but Vigio King's still living. Almost getting his turnaround, like his magic M2K turnarounds. Gets turned around all and he's dead. Ooh, nice. I can't believe you thought I thought he had a jump so. Oh, Wizard Rope, no oh, jump. Oh, there we go. I love when Sheik players will just hunt for those double jumps. They see somebody trying to double jump punish or something, and they just come in and just slap you out of the sky. It's such a great thing to do out of aware with good awareness. Yeah. Right. 
Uh, he tried to more or less do the same thing that Wizrobe did to him earlier, but there's a down smash waiting for him in front instead of a, instead of a spot dodge. Nadid was trying to do it to Plug. But, you know, what if, oh, oh no. no. Air dodge. Ugly. Yikes. This is this ain't looking good for Blue. That's like that. Oh, still no jump on Wizrobe. Oh, Mitsuki with those low back airs. To the bottom of the sea. Yeah. He's dragged down. Wow. Captain Ahab with Mitsuki. He's, well, he's white, but he's not a whale. <laughs> I'd say he's a whale. Oh, get slapped from Club. He's not having it. Uh, oh my gosh. And Wizzy puts himself in a bad situation trying to punish right there. Oh, and Plop, is that it? No. no. Yes. Oh, it is. Wow, he's in the sweet spot with the up B. How many people has oh Mewtwo can kill this game? I don't know, but oh, he just runs off. That's that. Only happiness from Florida. 3-0 in a convincing first set. And they don't look happy. This look. Think look about. Him. Oh yeah. That's yeah. what happened. We talked about this earlier. It's so funny. That's what happens when you play Mewtwo King suddenly switches to box, blows everyone up in winners finals. Yeah. Next set, he tries playing Fox, gets destroyed, plays Sheik, loses, thinks really hard about it for a minute, <laughs> and then they come back in 3 0. They probably should have been, that match probably should have been 2 1. Yeah. Like we should be still in Grand Final. It should be game four. Right now. Right. But, but still. But we're not. Because of Chokesies. Chokesies. And Flubber. Flubbin. You're not supposed to swallow Flubber. No, that's actually really dangerous for your health. 